First down throw for Mayfield. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 31. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. Josh, and he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A check on Jacobs from a week ago. 17 carries, 93 yards. They've won two straight games, and they've done it with the running game as the focal point of their offense. So in this contest, I don't think about doing anything else. I continue to ride the hot hand that I've established and lead with the runners. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. 13 yards. And the Raider first down. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. A short one here, secured by the tight end, Waller. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards, and it'll be second and very short. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing the four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sidelines thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. And a slant hauled in by Ruggs. And the Raiders are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. And again, it's Mayfield. And it's caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That time the completion goes for four yards and we're set up with a third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal will feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Two-yard line. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Josh Jacobs, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Raiders drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. And that makes it seven zip Vegas. So that drive 12 plays in length. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders. Just following the touchdown, Roar Wasser handles the kickoff duties. Now this will make it into the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. So here are the Panthers under head coach Matt Rule. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. And his stat line last week, that's not going to get him to the Pro Bowl. All right, no touchdowns, no interceptions, but they won. And so the bottom line for him is team one, managed the game effectively, led him to victory. He's doing all the right things. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Here's a second and two now from the 33. yard line. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. 
We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. He rifles complete, caught by Moore. Fourteen yards, good for a Panther first down. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 32-yard line. Now a run with McCaffrey. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. One yard gain brings up second and nine. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The quarterback sack by Max Crosby. Well, two sacks last week, another one right here. He's been unblockable lately, and I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. You know, a few times, he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. sacked twice now and they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit right keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit as you mentioned they're moving the ball well so now on comes the field goal unit and wow this is no ordinary try here this will be from 56 yards out and this won't get there, won't be online either. It's no good, off to the right, and this score will stay right where it is. Henry Ruggs and the Raiders set to go back to work. The early returns for him, very good to start this season. Interesting to see if he can keep up that torrid pace. Yeah, when you're talking about averaging 100 yards a game as a receiver, extrapolate that over 16 games, and you're having a monster season. So, yeah, you love what he's doing early, but I think it's got to go back to the offseason, doesn't it? It's got to go back to the roots, spending time with the guy who's going to throw the ball to him, spending time watching tape, spending time reading defenses, and, of course, getting himself ready to play. The line of scrimmage. Throwing on second down, Mayfield. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Six yards. And it's third down. To throw Mayfield. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. How about this first quarter for them throwing the football? This defense has zero answers for what they've seen so far with the ball in the air. I'm not sure how they're going to change things around, but offensively, 
I keep attacking. I keep throwing the football until they make me change. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Jacobs now. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10. On second down now. It's Jacobs. And he'll take this one down near the 15. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. On third down, Mayfield. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Darren Waller, his second touchdown on the season. And the Raiders add on to their lead. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Justin Roar Wasser Roar now Wasser for the point after. Point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. That time, a six-play drive. And it ends with a Las Vegas touchdown. Justin Rohrwasser. Following the touchdown, Rohrwasser handles the kickoff duties. And this carries into the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, OK, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result. Because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter. And a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. First down, he'll drop to throw. And down he goes, brought down a Raiders sack. Markel Lee, credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Wide open receiver complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 46. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. 
And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. One chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. They'll look to throw now on first down. And now he'll tuck it and run. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. On second down, McCaffrey. They'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Back to throw here. Able to push his way through. The pass. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced the third down. Blanket in the field with coverage, nowhere to go with the football. Forced the dump off to the back, and even then they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it, they did it well in that last sequence. So he gets an early chance to redeem himself, and he's able to put that one through. And how happy is he? He's able to get that second chance so quickly after the first miss. Gets his confidence back up, and who knows? They may need him for an even bigger kick later in the game. The Raider, the Raider offense set to get this drive started. Now right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Jeremy Chin there defensively. After one, a 14-3 ball game. Raiders 14, Panthers 3. Working with second and five now. From the gun, Mayfield, and incomplete. Henry Ruggs, the intended receiver, and it's third and five. It's third down, and five. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And that's going to be caught by Coulter. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. First down, Mayfield. And Waller taking it in over the middle. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 11 more on that one and another first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Here's Jacobs. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Jacobs, the ball carrier. Derek Brown on the stop. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and nine. At the 43-yard line. On second and nine. Mayfield. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. In great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Down line at the 34 here on third down. Here's Mayfield. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Shaq back at about the 43 yard line. I'll tell you what, he did not have much time there to skid in the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, yeah. meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them? They were on him in a hurry. Hunter Sterling Hoffrichter out now on fourth down. 
He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off at about the 31. Intercepted by the Raiders. Why do you go out and spend a first round pick on a defensive back? Plays like that, the rookie gets his first interception. Exactly right, and you're trying to limit the number of plays and offense runs. You're trying to limit the number of possessions they have. And he was a guy that I targeted coming out of college and rated very highly for his playmaking skills on defense. And now he has his first career interception. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They run it with Jacobs. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. A gain of three, second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Running is Jacobs. 29-yard line. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 yards there and a first down. He's taken down. At the he's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he gets lost in there and he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now Mayfield. That is caught inside the five. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. From 17 yards out. And the Raiders add six to their lead. So three drives, three touchdowns, and they're a PAT from going up 21 to three. And there's no doubt in my mind, you're liking what you're seeing so far, aren't you? It's unbelievable. Like yeah. a well-oiled machine, if you will. What's really tough, though, that point. defense, they're leaping the shadows at this point. They don't know which way to go. They're being hit in every direction, and they have no he answers thus far. Good. The extra point Makes splits the uprights, and the lead is up to 18 now. Just following the touchdown, Rohrwasser handles the kickoff duties. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. Brings up second and four. Out to his left. And he's going to keep it here. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That's big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, to me, this leads to the question, do you admire the way he puts his body out there all the time, or do you think he should protect himself a little bit more? <laughs> well, he's been on the ground several times with all those sacks that he's taken. So, I don't know, I kind of admire him not sliding down there, don't you? I'm with you on that one. The meter definitely leans towards admiration. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Working his way for a gain of seven to the 26. The ball carrier. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Brings up second and three. Now a handoff here to his running back. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That's good for a Carolina Panther. 
they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. He's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Max Crosby able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And they're picking up right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that, this pass rush. They know how to get after people. Offensively, good luck finding some answers right now. The Panthers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 16. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. The pass. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. Now they couldn't get anything going there out of the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Field goal coming from Young Way Koo. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. 35-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And that'll get the deficit down to 15. Makes the score. Raiders 21. Panthers 6. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. But kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Mayfield's pass. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. It's second and inches at the 35-yard line. Mayfield on play action. Reception here by Ruggs. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 36. Mayfield now. A short one here secured by the tight end, Waller. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 10 more there and another first down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Josh Jacobs, the Raider ball. Player. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. One yard game. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now left side on the swing pass. 
It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that's going to bring out the third down. It's a gain of a yard. And it Mayfield looks to throw, going for it all. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Mayfield's pass. Isaiah Coulter, his second touchdown on the season. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. Rohrwasser on for the PAT. He's got it, and the lead swells. It's 28 to 6. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders. Justin Rohrwasser. Following the touchdown, Rohrwasser handles the kickoff duties. From the six. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. Now comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well, or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try to loosen things up. Get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretariat lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look it up. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. When you're struggling on of offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to light, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. That's good for 28 yards. A little bit of a breakdown there defensively, and the RPO turns into a big chunk play. And when you think about running offense, the word comes to mind, assignment, right? Because you have to carry those out. But you have to play assignment football on defense, too, against a team that runs these RPOs because everyone has to be in the right place. Who's got the quarterback? Who's got the running back? Who's covering the receivers? This one worked quite well on that play. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it, an eyelash, dropped at the one. Back-to-back -back plays of right around 30 yards, and the field position has totally been flipped. Now, that was a big run. It takes him all the way down to the one-yard line, and that'll shake the confidence of any defense. So when they're looking for a little bit of support now, looking at their defensive coordinator, if I'm him, I dial up some pressure. I just go after him, because otherwise, you're still playing back on your heels, and that's not going to help your defense at all. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. On the ground, McCaffrey. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. Looking to go back to Thomas again, but now it's third and goal. And goal. McCaffrey. Yeah, boy, a good surge defensively. It'll depend on the mark, but I'm not sure he got there. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. And goal. Well, let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? Your two-point conversion plays. Because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more like six or seven. Which one do you like here? Because that's essentially what you're going for right now. That spot of the field, call one of those and go get six. And this one is right through. And the deficit falls under 20 now. It's a 19-point game. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. Now, things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, 
thing stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bring it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Baker Mayfield leads the offense out for their next possession. They've got the lead. He's a big reason why, looking sharp so far. And as we travel around the league, we see quarterbacks get it done in a variety of ways. But today's NFL does tell us one thing. If that guy doesn't play well, <laughs> their team's not going to. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Derek Brown busting through to get him for a loss of six. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Another try after the first down sack. Mayfield, that's into the hands of Parkinson, the tight end. Mayfield's pass. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. A three-yard gain on the play. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Here's Sterling Hoffrichter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and out will come the offense as they take over. Christian McCaffrey and the Panthers about set to go on offense. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call in the West Coast offense, the long hand? Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. The pass. Picked off by the former first round pick, Demarius Randall. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you gotta be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you wanna call it, and move on. He hasn't been able to do so here in the second. Henry Ruggs and the Raiders set to go back to work. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day, because otherwise, he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware aware of his playmaking ability. Mayfield from the gun on third down. And he comes back with one complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Mayfield on first down, and he's got the hook up to Ruggs. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. A first down throw for Mayfield. Oh, looking for Waller, but this is intercepted. Picked off at the 40, and the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. This defense had three interceptions last week. They're on pace for more than that here, two in the first half. Do not adjust your set. This is not instant replay. <laughs> this is a defense that is locked in. They're essentially running the routes for the receivers and turning into the receivers themselves, aren't they? I mean, it is amazing what I'm seeing because the reactions of those guys back on the back seven, phenomenal. 
First and 10 here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. Coverage on the play by Trayvon Diggs. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. And there's a work of art right there. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Big Derek Brown making the stop. And while they hope to continue this drive, it's really already mission accomplished. They've given enough space now that they have to pump the ball. They've done so with that first run. They'll keep it on the ground again here. Breaks the tackle, now an alley. And he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. And welcome in, everybody, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Time for a look around the NFL here in week three of the new year. We'll get started over at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans, and it's the Saints who are out in front. The Saints seem to be on their way to what would be a good victory. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And you can see, currently they trail in that ball game. Dwayne Haskins, two touchdown passes thus far. Lastly, we head to the Gulf Coast and check on the Bucks at home in Tampa. And that one all tied as they host the visiting Falcons. In the game you're watching has been Baker Mayfield with a strong first half. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in this second half. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here. second and a yard from the 34. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. He was brought down at the 45-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup. It's second and inches. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally, down at the 36-yard line. 
Just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow they didn't get that communicated well, and it turned into a nice play. This is McCaffrey. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Four yards the pick up. First down. First and ten at the 25-yard line. They're going to look to throw. Complete on the quick throw to Moore. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. If this for baseball, we call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. Line of scrimmage, the two. They can still get a first down if they just get a yard out of this on fourth and very short. Here we go with McCaffrey. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Now the extra point try forthcoming. Deficit to 12. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. 24-yard line. So here are the Raiders now to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and 10. And they'll begin by running the option. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. The last run got six, now second and four. Six, six, six. 
Play action now. Here's Mayfield. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Mayfield sacks. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard. I will guarantee you, the defensive side of the ball gets super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. For Mayfield got his connection complete to Ruggs and he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion a big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13 but the kind of game he's had so far you had to know that on third down that they would be looking his way and they did for big yardage and a first down I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Mayfield off the play fake. Got an open man. It's Ruggs. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 28. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. They'll run on first down. Linton down to the 25. On the carry. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. A three-yard pickup. They'll keep it on the ground. Linton, they'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. The seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Leads to second and goal. They'll run it with Jacobs, and he'll take it into the end zone for a later touchdown. Touchdown. Josh Jacobs, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Raiders add on to their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Justin, Justin Rohrwasser now for the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A 10-play drive that time. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. Just following the touchdown, Rohrwasser handles the kickoff duties. Takes this about five yards deep. 
And he'll just take a seat in the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from... And the Raiders have got him. Defensive end, Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness that defensive line is eating them alive. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. Brings up third, back to throw. They'll roll him out right. He can run for it, and he will. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Not only another first down, that also puts him over 100 yards rushing. That's not something you see very often in the NFL. We see it more in college. But I think with more of the melding of the college game with quarterbacks, we'll see this a little bit more often in the future. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Here's McCaffrey. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. And Marquell Lee with a stop defensively. 37-yard line. A gain of a yard. Second and nine now. Second and nine. Flush to his right. He'll try and run it. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. It's a gain of six. Makes it third and four. He'll look to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Only two on the screen pass there, and it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. And he's not going to get the first. I don't even think he made it back to the line of scrimmage. He needed a couple, but he didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Raider D, they get the football back. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. No gain on the play. Second Looking to throw on second down. Mayfield incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. Now a carry for Jacobs. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks, and now here's a tackle behind the line. the gun Mayfield and he's got his man in stride complete and he'll get to the 29 yard line brought down there now after the completion we're going to get a timeout an injured player well he gets attended to we'll step aside
Las Vegas sending out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. At their own Carolina getting set to take the field. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. The pass. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. That's a gain of three. Brings up.